Hey everyone, I made it through level two. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it's over. That's crazy town. I was studying like a crazy person and also doing all my technical stuff at home last night just to make sure that I was like good to go. I went to a workshop and um, quartered a chicken and filleted fish just to practice. And then when I came home, I did the same thing. Um, so thank goodness for that. And then I also made creme anglaise, which is that base for our ice cream that I was so excited about because that was on my practical as well. So that all paid off because I got a 98 on my practical. And if you watched through level one, you'll know that I got a 95. So I improved, which is awesome. But I got my written test results and not so stellar. I really don't understand. I left that test feeling really confident. So I feel like there's something that just I completely blew out of the water. We will see what she writes when I get that back. Um, but it's like in the mid 80s, so I'm not very happy about that. But again, I'm a glass half full type person, so I'm just gonna like move forward, it's fine. I'm gonna, whatever I messed up, I will obviously review, because at the end of the day for a program like this, I'm not, it's not like, I, it's, it's all about what am I learning, what am I absorbing, what matters, to me, I guess if that makes sense, like I'm not gonna be hard on myself if I messed up some really crazy technical thing about cheese making when I know that like I understand the concept and whatever I didn't like master, I will, you know, sort of repeat to myself. But I'm just, yeah, so anyway, I'm not gonna be like bummed out about it. But I'm a little like, it took the wind out of my sails a bit, to be honest. But I was really happy because we got to go to um, Jacques Torres today for a chocolate tour, which was fantastic. So I did my level two practical, my level two written, and then we got on the train and went to Jacques Torres and got to travel and see his chocolate factory. And I was hoping that we would get to see him. He did the whole tour. So thank you, Jacques Torres, Chef Jacques Torres. That was really, really cool. We got to see his factory and see how it all comes together. And he's so funny and lovely and approachable and like answered amazing questions and just, it was so fun. I got to try a lot of chocolate as well. So that was fun times. But yeah, now it's time to like have a cocktail and just kind of relax and celebrate my really great grade on my practical, which I practiced really hard for. And I feel like I um, did well, obviously and just kind of review whatever went wrong with my test. I really wanted to put that one on the fridge, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. I don't put anything in my refrigerator because growing up, there was always stuff on the refrigerator and it made me crazy. So there's like a zero things on the refrigerator policy here. So anyway, time to go have a cocktail. I have got to write my recipes because it is not Friday for me. It is Thursday because these are always the day before, day, day behind. And so it's not TGIF, it's TGIT. And so that means level three starts tomorrow. So I gotta go write some recipes. Thank you for watching this and thank you for commenting and checking out my Martha level challenge. I really appreciate it. So I will be telling you what happens on level three tomorrow because it's totally different. All right, bye everyone.